What was unusual for this event is that uh, the homes that were flooded were, 75 percent of those were outside the 100-year flood zone. And uh, so it's, it's uh, you expect this or you think that it may happen possibly in the coastal communities, but in uh, Metro Atlanta, it's not what you expect. And we've been working with, uh, closely with FEMA, working on the project worksheets trying to get the infrastructure repaired and, and some of it even bring it back up to a better condition than it was in before the flood. As a manager, this is my first experience getting to work directly with GEMA, FEMA and the roles that we've been training for all this time and it honestly was a lot smoother and a lot a lot quicker than I ever expected it to be. We just appreciate the support that we've we've got through GEMA and FEMA and, and um, there's a lot of time and energy that goes into it and you know, our, our FEMA folks in particular have, have been very patient with us because this is actually our first declaration as a new city. So there's been a lot of learning on our part. I just would like to say we greatly appreciate the cooperation of all the FEMA staffers that have worked with us. Like I said, this was my first uh, emergency being a manager of it. And I can't say enough good things about the Georgia Emergency Management, the Federal Emergency Management in Atlanta, Fulton County. They've all really... Uh, jumped to and everybody pulled their weight and came together as a team. It's been a, a learning experience for us and we appreciate all the support that we've had from, from the state and from the federal government as well. We had a, a wonderful working relationship with uh, the representative we had with, from FEMA. Uh, she kept constant contact um, during the time we had shelters opened. Uh, we had uh, GEMA help. We had uh, representatives from FEMA. They were all working together to resolve issues there. Um, it's been tremendous.